Hello, this motorhome is the Heimer MLT 780 and I've started off at this side because I wanted to kick off this video by showing you the storage in this vehicle and I think that's always a good place to start because let's face it there's not much room in a van and as much as we can carry the better so that is a very strong highlight of this vehicle notice the double floor and uh, it allows things to be put right the way through such as skis long things like that for example and at the same time it protects your feet and the rest of your body indeed from the cold in the uh in the winter on the summer if it's particularly cold as well Right, so this vehicle here is 789 centimetres in length, 235 in width, and it has a height of 296. So, uh, it also has stacks of extras on it, which have increased the weight somewhat. So, the extras that this thing has gone, not only have a price tag of excess of 20,000 euros, but also have increased the weight by 124. Now the MLT actually was sort of my favorite uh, van. I'm not certain it is any longer though. Anyway, um, having said I still like it a lot, just not my favorite anymore. So, uh, so the ready to go, this thing's gonna weigh 3,339 kilos. On a five ton basis, that's gonna give you over a ton of payload. And uh, it has, two sleeping places thanks to not having something up here over the front and right that's now you've seen the whole thing let's see a bit more of it so uh let's come down here in fact i'm going to sit in this chair here and have a look back at the vehicle so we've got here a uh, reasonable sized table to sit around with an l-shaped seating group now you've this has been new so you could actually choose the furnishings and that color and fabric is not one that I would choose. It's on a Mercedes uh, base, and uh, I mentioned the double floor, so we can see down here what we've got down here. So there you go, your fuses. And in here, we'll have, oh, isn't this exciting? What could be down here? There are your batteries. But look at that, how far you can actually extend the batteries by. I mean, you could, Oh, easily get 750 amps in there, easily, possibly more. And uh, down here, we've got the uh, fuse box. And here, we've got the storage space. We keep your crates of beer. And this one here will be water so that gets all that out the way to make more storage for other things up to the bed well German layout here um, which you can use this here this thing fits here and then this cushion goes on top of it should you want to make an enormous bed and you've got these steps to get up into it so that's relatively easy to do and there's a look down to the uh, back whilst i'm here i notice that we have this thing here which will slide across and oh it won't slide across because it's it's blocked here but this will slide across like that i don't want to hit anything oh look at that it even slide ah now oh, isn't that good it slides over the steps now that's a little detail. You might think that that's particularly clever, but it is because there's plenty of vans that don't think of that. They've got things that slide across of a ladder. You either have ladder gets in the way or or whatever. Mind you, at a hundred thousand euros, you'd expect it to have uh, some <laughs> decent saving features. Also got a place that hang your stuff up as you come in, and storage, of course, all the way around there.
right so let's have a look in here and toilet you can close the door there if you want more room when you're in the shower or if you're shy or something or indeed if you just want to close the front of the van out and uh, not have to bother about uh, closing the curtains up front that can happen at times and that is understandable This will fit into there, like that. See, one-handed operation. And this goes up there, like that. And it allows us to get in here into the this uh, storage place and over here as well. There you go. Can't see that. Can you, where's the light? Here it is. Well, the light's not working. It either hasn't been turned on, which I think is highly likely, or it's broken, but I, th I think I haven't turned it on. And there's a view of the bed system. So, I think that's a very... Oh, well, 12 volts on, but the lights aren't on. Never mind. There could be a reason for that. People... Um, the companies such as Heimer can take the fuses out deliberately in showrooms. Look at the space here, enormous, wonderful range, plenty of space around to sort of prepare things. You've got these chunky knobs away from the heat. Oh, that's uh, definitely, definitely a plus. Here, you've got the drawers and a slidey out thing here. And that's where you can throw uh, your stuff that might look as though it's got something uh, worth catching on. That wasn't a very good description, was it? That was a rather weak description as far as descriptions go. And uh, to show up here as well, plenty of, plenty of space there. There we have a USB. Uh, now... Uh, one of these fridges that opens both ways in there and there we have a wardrobe this vehicle comes in 4x4 four four, or not 4x4 four four, as is required Now this is at the top of the MLT range and uh, there are other vans. I always thought it was the small MLT which was my favourite one of the lot the, uh, with the widthwise bed at the back. But this one here is also quite nice. No, the, well, the 12 volts on but don't know why the lights didn't come on. So, part of the equipment I mentioned is this tent with the words sail on it. And I think the, the tent is supposed to come in front of the door to make a porch. That's how I understand it. Maybe it isn't. Of course, for someone like myself, who is a... Um, a wild camper, I wouldn't be using something like this. Yeah, I'll just give you some of the uh, extras here. So there's over 20,000, 22,000 worth of extras. Most expensive of which is the driver assistance package, pa packet plus with the Mercedes-Benz M books and all sorts of other stuff, such as the, um, the big screen and you've got a rear uh, camera. And, uh, and as you can see, it's got a nine speed, uh, 9G Tronic automatic, uh, gearbox and uh, anyway so and then we've got some more packets which is a comfort packet with uh, the big roof above the panoramic roof above the uh, driver and uh, and the rest oh this is a good one of course as always uh, the the documents will cost 165 euros and delivery 490 um, so comes with a Heimer bike carrier as well, but the bike carrier was in the rear, back here. I noticed this, 
as I passed earlier, which, now I tried to do one of these bike carriers. Mine, it was a, it was a do it yourself job in my own van, but it didn't quite work. And uh, to be quite honest though, I've got my doubts about that one as well, because obviously you can take it out at one side, but it's gonna be taking up so much room in the garage Anyway, I, I don't know what the solution is because uh, if I say something I don't agree with something or don't like something I like to present the solution, but in this case I don't know what the solution is because whatever happens you've got the handlebars So you're gonna need to have something like this at, at a distance so uh, Don't know how to resolve that one So what do you think of this? Uh, is it a nice motorhome or not? And uh, so, MLT 780. I think this is the first time I've seen it. Somebody then points, hey, you filmed, you, you filmed this 18 years ago. But um, it does say up there that it's new. And uh, I believe it's the first time that I have actually seen it as well. So, uh, thanks very much for watching. I hope you found that interesting and uh, all the best from here in Bad Waldsee, Germany.